H-U-B's, um, Bibsiano Broomstick, checking in, oh natural. So, I'm in my jammies and I've got a cup of coffee because that's kind of the feeling of t tonight's vlog really, vlog. And it's, it's quite a heartfelt vlog actually because I'm going to talk about, well, not being able to have children and the maiden and the mother and the crone which I know lots of you out there um, struggle with with that kind of aspect of things we'll start by my story really um, 11 years ago now I had my first miscarriage um, twins at six weeks I know they, they were a missed miscarriage I bled, rushed to the hospital, ER, whatever you call it, had a scan, heartbeats, just fake little heartbeats. Hospital said it's very common to bleed, normal, um, so there was I, young, ignorant, and I thought everything was okay. I went back a month later for my following scan and it turned out that they died the week after my first scan, so that was the first one. Okay, fair enough crack on try again. Second miscarriage was seven years ago at nine weeks twins again missed miscarriage silent miscarriage whatever you want to call it same thing. Third time um, nearly 12 weeks same thing again then in 2009 I fell pregnant again and I thought well here we go I'm gonna lose this one too um, had a little bit of bleeding, went for my scan, lovely, lovely heartbeat at nine weeks, you can make baby wiggling, so I thought wonderful. Twelve weeks again, lovely heartbeat, brilliant. Made it all the way to twenty weeks and I was ready for my twenty week scan and I really thought, yeah, this is it, we've done it. Um, as I was at my scan they said there was some funneling of my cervix and to just take it easy um, little did I know a week later well 22 weeks two weeks later we were one day short of the legal age of um, resuscitation so that was nearly 23 weeks um, I gave birth to her beautiful little girl didn't make it now my last miscarriage was nearly three weeks ago um, and I thought it was just as simple as a mis miscarriage went to the hospital for a, a DNC um, but I was a little bit further on than we thought and the baby was just very small so I had to deliver him Rowan um, and I won't be I won't be trying again it's it's they think due to um, a severe, severe, severe bicornuate uterus and some other genetic problems with hubby and eyes, eggs and whatnot. Um, so at the moment I won't be trying again. I, I don't think it's looking hopeful for me because even if I went further on, again cervix isn't capable so not even the stitch would, would a rescue suture would save me really. So that left me thinking, oh Okay, I've been the maiden. Now's the time I should be the mother. And losing my little girl in 2009 messed my head big style. Um, so I, I just went into a severe depression, self harm, which I'm not proud of. Um, it was just a physical pain that. I just couldn't heal. I took pain relief. I, I tried everything and nothing was going to get rid of the anger inside of me. Um, yeah, she was my world and she left me so that's why I can't adopt. Um, in the UK it's really difficult for you to adopt even if, you know, they, 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 they generally 
don't make it very easy so it's not something my heart I think is strong enough to do so I'm at the crossroads now of okay I'm at my mother phase in my cycle of my life and I'm not a mum this thought led me to a lot of soul searching um, I basically wrote myself off as as anything really I, I it wasn't until I was a little bit calmer um, and I was able to kind of assess the situation properly that you've only got to turn on the TV and it tells you buy this formula buy these nappies any decent mother would buy fairy washing up liquid and you, you look out your door at you know kicking out time at school and you you know you see all the happy families and yeah I was pretty bitter and I thought right well that's it there's no place in Wicca paganism yada yada for me nothing I, I, I can't be a mother the Gaia the goddess is about mother and that was it for me it was it was black and white it was as simple as that it, she's the mother I'm not a mum so I don't count I'm not a woman I didn't feel like anything really. Um, my God, I googled. Did I google? And much to my surprise, this wasn't a topic that was largely spoken about. There, there isn't very much written about um, where you belong if if you're wicker and you're not a mum, and kind of what the the, the kickboard to, to 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 rebuilding yourself is. There was no kicker out there for me really and it wasn't until I know my mother-in-law um, we sat and we, 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 we threw ideas about for a good three hours non-stop and we talked about it and she said to me well maiden mother and crone isn't necessarily the mother part of it isn't necessarily physically birthing a child in a sense it doesn't necessarily have to embody that it can be um, nurturing every aspect of your life those around you creativity you could nurture creativity you can nurture your spiritualism um, animals art music wherever you know so on and so forth yeah, I, I saw the idea as logical. I thought, mm, yeah, maybe she's got a point, but I didn't buy into it then. I didn't buy into it. So I thought, okay, what do I need now? Here, now. What do I need from Goddess? What do I need from Goddess to put myself back together and I know that it sure as shit isn't tarot cards and it sure as shit isn't ritual it sure as shit isn't isn't any of the above it, it's it's finding myself again and my confidence as a woman um, So for me, I reassessed my 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 goddess deity, my patron deity, and shock horror Lilith. Um, she shot me in the heart. Basically, she. I'm here. I have everything you need. Now, I'm talking from a basis of for me, what I needed. I'm not saying for you not saying for Bill, for Ted, anybody else, I'm saying this is what I needed for me and Lilith for me in, in my heart invoked um, very feminine aspects, very sexual aspects actually she I see a lot of me and Lilith we all have dark sides it's controversially whether we choose to sit and openly 
on YouTube or to friends and family say, you know, I have I have this dark side to me. There's dark with everything. Um, 